A very important question being asked today, especially in the commercial crew program, but also across the, the different human spaceflight programs that we deal with in NASA, is the subject of, of accountability, uh, shared mission assurance, um, and the risks associated with that and the mitigation of those risks. And it is, um, the, the good news is um, everybody is curious about it and everybody's asking questions about it and they are looking at different models for doing it, which is, which is really kind of going back to my first three comments about um, how to be innovative. Um, and how to make that safe at the same time. This risk-based uh, plan to share accountability where it's appropriate and where we, where the expertise is best located that expertise is focused on those high risk areas in that domain but through uh, for instance at the in, in each of the programs we have an engineering review board uh, in the in the commercial crew program we have a uh, we have a, a kind of a safety technical review um, that goes in parallel, but it's in, in lockstep, I would say, with the engineering review board. And one doesn't go to the other without them both being informed of the risks and the issues. And sometimes it's not a particular engineering entity that is really drilling into that activity, and sometimes it is, but the safety and mission assurance team is in lockstep with the engineering team, and they're making sure that, uh, like some of the other things that I talked about previously, they're making sure that questions are asked, that no assumptions are made, and with a uh, kind of a rubric over the whole thing of this, uh, this risk-based uh, shared accountability, um, what that means is that the high-risk items for the program uh, the high-risk items from an SNMA point of view, the high-risk items from an engineering point of view, they are all high-risk to everyone, and there's somebody or group of somebodies somewhere paying attention to them such that they will come through a process that everybody will get to see and everybody will get to weigh in on and make sure that we're doing the right things uh, to trade we're doing the right trade of risk and the mitigation of risk associated with the benefits of going with commercial providers and benefits of doing things differently versus wrong. And I think this process that we have in place, especially for uh, commercial crew, I think it also bleeds over into the other uh, programs, the other big programs, SLS, Orion, GSDO. It's helping us make sure that we're taking advantage of this generation's knowledge and expertise and we're kind of laying that over a framework of lessons learned and bruises and cuts and scrapes and uh, even sometimes tragedies that have occurred in the space program over the years and we're making sure that the right questions are asked and that, that if it's not me there's someone who's focus and day job is making sure that that is as safe and reliable as possible. And then they bring it back through the processes that we have laid the groundwork for and put in place over the years uh, to make sure that we're doing those things right. And we've asked all the questions and that we stayed curious about it. A great example to me is the discussion with SpaceX over three versus four parachutes. All right, we're working very hard to understand uh, the, the physics associated with three versus four parachutes. We have a pretty good experience with three, don't have a lot of experience at all with four, but that doesn't mean that four is wrong, it just means four is different. And we're making sure that all the right folks with the right expertise um, can step into that conversation at the right time and making sure that we're doing the tests we're doing the evaluations, we're doing the analysis necessary to make that okay with an understandable risk and that it's a different way of doing business. It's not a wrong way of doing business.